How to get rid of a tickly cough. A dry cough is most commonly called a tickly cough. This type of cough is usually associated with relatively minor irritations in the throat. Chronic dry coughs can also be due to smoking, post-nasal drip irritating the throat and causing a reflex cough, allergies, asthma especially in children, and chronic bronchitis. It can also be caused by irritants in the air, medications, or certain diseases. You should identify the cause of your cough so you can avoid triggers and choose the most effective treatment. Using natural cough suppressants. Use honey. Honey has both antibacterial and antiviral properties, which can help if you have an underlying viral or bacterial cause for your cough. In one study, honey was found to be more effective than cough medicine for lessening coughs in children. Glycerin can be used in place of honey if you don't like or can't use honey. Instead of a cup of honey in these remedies, you can substitute one half cup of glycerin mixed with one half cup of water, underscore ref 4, class equals reference, aria label equals, link to reference 4, greater than don't give honey to children who are one year and younger. Glycerin can be used in place of honey if you don't like or can't use honey. Instead of a cup of honey in these remedies, you can substitute one half cup of glycerin mixed with one half cup of water. Don't give honey to children who are one year and younger. Add lemon to your beverages. Lemon is great when you are sick because it contains high levels of vitamin C. It also has antibacterial and antiviral properties. You can mix honey and lemon together for a great cough remedy. Warm up one cup of honey, and then add three to four tablespoons of fresh lemon juice. You can also add bottled lemon juice. Add about one third cup of water, and heat it on low heat for 10 minutes. Place in the refrigerator, and drink 1 to 2 tablespoons when needed. Take garlic. Garlic also has antibacterial and antiviral properties, along with antiparasitic and antifungal properties. You can mix honey, lemon, and garlic for an effective cough suppressant. Warm a cup of honey, then add 3 to 4 tablespoons of fresh lemon juice. Then peel two to three cloves of garlic and chop them as finely as possible. Place them into the mixture. Add one third cup of water and heat on low heat for 10 minutes. Warm a cup of honey, then add three to four tablespoons of fresh lemon juice. Then peel two to three cloves of garlic and chop them as finely as possible. Place them into the mixture. Add one third cup of water and heat on low heat for 10 minutes. Add some ginger. Ginger is used as an expectorant, which thins out mucus and phlegm and acts as a bronchial relaxant. Adding ginger to tea, food, or a honey-lemon mixture can decrease the desire to cough. Peel and grate between 1 and 2 inches of fresh ginger root. Add it to a honey-lemon mixture. Peel and grate between 1 and 2 inches of fresh ginger root. Add it to a honey-lemon mixture. Gargle with warm salt water. Warm salt water helps reduce swelling in your throat, which can lessen the cough. Just add 1 teaspoon of salt to approximately 6 ounces of water. Stir to dissolve the salt completely in the water. Then, gargle. Repeat every few hours or whenever your throat feels swollen. If the cause of your cough is not a sore or irritated throat, this may not help your cough. Repeat every few hours or whenever your throat feels swollen. If the cause of your cough is not a sore or irritated throat, this may not help your cough. 